Regular aircraft jet engines are slowly fading away into the past. This is because we're currently developing aircrafts that can travel from Earth to the edge of space using just air and electricity. The fall of 2015 saw Wuhan University professor Zhao Tang hard at work on a prototype of a thruster that, from first glance, seemed too good to be true. This technology was appropriately dubbed the electric plasma engine, and it may bring forth a new era of air travel. Welcome to Reality Expanded. Make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so that you never miss out on any of our new videos. Let's get into the video. Unlike conventional aircraft engines, which compressed air and fuel are ignited in the engines to generate thrust, plasma jet engines instead utilize electricity to create electromagnetic fields and work by compressing and, and exciting a gas like argon to the point that it becomes plasma, a hot, dense, ionized state like the inside of a fusion reactor or star. According to an interview with Professor Zhao Tang, his intention uses microwaves to charge compressed air into a plasma state and then shoots this plasma out like a jet, converting energy directly into propulsion without the need of fossil fuels. Without boasting, Tang speculated that it may be expanded to the point where it could be used to pilot huge commercial passenger flights. He even thinks it has the potential to one day fuel interplanetary travel. These are, needless to say, quiet, bold claims, similar to the jets on Iron Man's suit from the Marvel movies or the thrusters that enable Doc Brown's DeLorean to fly in back to the future. The idea of a thruster that doesn't need tanks of fuel sounds remarkably like sci-fi, but according to Tang, his creation alongside Wuhan University colleagues Dan Yi and Jun Li has the potential to radically alter human society as we know it. However, they are not the only ones currently working working on refining this technology. Technical University of Berlin researcher Berkant Goxel and his colleagues are keen to install plasma engines in aircrafts as well. It's a fact that conventional jet engines can't fly higher than 30 kilometers, but this is what the researchers in Berlin are out to fix. We aim to design a system that can function beyond an altitude of 30 kilometers. Using them, travelers might potentially go to the very edge of space, Berkant Goxel said in an interview. However, Burkant and his team are faced with a challenge. When it comes to operating conditions, plasma jet engines are often built for a vacuum or low pressures found high in the atmosphere, both of which need transporting a gas supply. So the task was to create a plasma propulsion engine that could be utilized for both takeoff and high altitude flight while using air in the atmosphere, and the group has successfully tested a version that can function in air at a pressure of our atmosphere. We are the first to produce fast and powerful plasma jets at ground level, says Goxel. These jets of plasma can reach speeds of up to 20 kilometers a second. The propulsion combination was ignited by a continuous stream of electric discharges lasting just for a few nanoseconds. Pulse detonation combustion engines employ a similar method to improve efficiency over conventional internal combustion engines, but no one has ever used pulse detonation in plasma thrusters before. Meanwhile, researchers in Wuhan are also hard at work and have successfully developed a prototype with a promising efficiency rating. At 400 watts, the thrust was 11N or 28N kilowatts, indicating a high efficiency of propulsion. Linear extrapolation led the scientists to estimate that a Tesla Model S battery with a 310 kW power may be converted into a propulsive thrust force of about 8500 N. For comparison, with two 30 kW electric ducted fans, the Airbus E-Fan electric airliner can generate 1500 newton meters of thrust. At 25 nKW, it wouldn't be as efficient as the original prototype built here. According to them, this thrust efficiency is similar to that of commercial airline jet engines. The team behind the study has said that they are planning to replace their current testing technique with something more precise and trustworthy. And and are also looking at ways to improve the design's overall efficiency. However, with a few key exceptions, the future of electric aircraft propulsion using plasma thrusters seems bright. So, do you think we'll see this technology put to use anytime soon? Do let us know in the comments below, like the video, hit the subscribe and bell button, and share it with your friends and family. Until the next video, stay safe friends, Reality Expanded, out!